Hello YouTube, you're here with Bad Bry, and this is my combat resort here in the Commonwealth. Combat resort, you say. What is a combat resort? Well, you take a look at this uh, little settlement that I built here, and you can decide what you think a combat resort is. So this is the front entrance, uh, just walking in here on the left-hand side. We've got a defensive wall up uh, just to block off any uh, raiders or any kind of super mutants that might come this way. On the right here, we'll just take a walk up. We've got a defensive tower. Um, we've got some uh, machine gun turrets here at the bottom level as we go up. We've got a rocket turret as well as two laser turrets. Now we'll just enter the combat resort through these uh, front gates here. Uh, we've got a giddy up buttercups out here in the front. My favorite toy in the game. Uh, so as we walk through the front gate here, the first thing you'll see on the right hand side here is a statue of what I call the leader of the Minutemen. I don't know if that's the truth, but uh, that's what the story I'm sticking with. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, this is the Starlight Drive-In. Um, so what we've gone with here, kind of an ode to the uh, Starlight Drive-In, we've got the Starlight Hotel. Some weird-ass settler with a sack on its head. So as you walk in here, we've got a little lounge area where you can wait for your hotel room, per perhaps, or maybe just have a cup of coffee. Got our rooms for rent here, and our uh, trusty robot fuckface will be working the front desk. We've got ice and Nuka-Cola, and then we've got the manager's office here on the left-hand side. We'll go up the stairs here, and uh, as we get up the stairs, there'll be three rooms of varying, uh, varying luxury. We'll start at the lowest, here at the end. So just a basic room. We've got a desk, uh, toilet, of course, bathtub, uh, bed, some dressers and what have you. We'll move down the hallway to the uh, second, the second room. The second room now is a little bit better. It's got a little bit more amenities, not much. A table, you know, you can hang out with your friend and get, you know, do some chems, whatever you want to do. And we'll move up here to the luxury where we've got, uh, you know, we've got a nice coach here. We've got... Nice big desk with a computer. We'll look around. We've got a private toilet, private bathtub. I think that's huge. That's this is the room I would stay in. We've got a double bed. Of course, we've got a double bed. Lots of room. And of course, 10 o'clock every night, lights out. That's it. That's the rules. Just kidding. So we'll head back out here into the actual combat resort. Um, here on the left hand side we've got a bit of a uh, central public garden I guess you would call it. Um, the settlers all work this garden and this provides the food for the place but it also looks nice aesthetically. As we move forward here we'll see our little workshop building here which could not be deleted. But anyways. I'm getting hungry, so I think I'll make a little stop here at A1 Pizza Plus Pizza and Down There. Now, my daughter asked me to add this because this is her favorite pizza shop here in town, so I added it. And, of course, we've got a gourmet pizza chef here that's serving up gourmet pizza all day. Now, we eating nothing but pizza. It's going to get you in bad shape. So we put a gym in as well. We've got Studs Gym down here. Studs Gym is the best gym in the Commonwealth. We've got everything you need here, everything you can get in the Commonwealth as far as a gym. We've got weights here. We've got a curl bar. We've got a couple of barbells here. We've got our 60-pound barbell, and we've got a 180-pound barbell. Now, Stud's strong, so Stud hits that 160, no problem. Come over here. We've got a couple of dumbbells, 20-pound dumbbells. And for cardio, of course, what's better than basketball? We've got our basketball court here. We can have a quick game of basketball. Now we'll come along here and we'll check out this building to our right here. Now this building is the live human fights. We've got man versus man and also the box office. 
as you can see here we've got a couple of weirdo settlers hanging out here some power raider power armor on the two sides now typically there is somebody here working this box office he must be on break right now but anyhow we can take a look inside just check it out before the any events start here so we'll move up top here take a look around so we've got our quitting time siren to alert the uh, settlers of when there is going to be a fight and they'll all come up here and hang out at this little bar area over here have some drinks and watch the fight there's also somebody usually working this bar but they must be on break as well take a look around the arena here we've got uh you know wide open to the bottom cage uh cage arena easy to clean you know when there's blood and guts everywhere easy just to hose it off and spray everything down through the grates move around to the other side here just take a look this is where the other uh the other combatant would be across from the other guy on the other side now i will put on a clip a uh, video of uh of an actual combat here combat in the combat arena Got a jukebox playing some music as well as another little place to lounge on this side. Now we'll just take a look out here. We've got another defensive structure in the back here. Um, just to protect the back side of this uh, combat resort. We've got some walls uh, around the outside here just to show you that this is fully enclosed. There's only two ways into this uh, combat resort. We've got a little cook station here as well as a table for anybody, any settlers or what have you working here would like to... Uh, as well as beds here we've got some beds here as well everybody needs a place to sleep and up here not much on this level we've got a little defensive turret uh, just a uh, a light turret up here we've got a rocket turret as well as a machine a heavy machine gun turret and another laser turret here and this is kind of defending this back entrance um, back roadway where you get a lot of settlers comes through a lot of provisioners and what have you Moving back down through this area. Oh, and also a little outhouse for the people who are working back here. A little place to go have a little, you know, whatever you do in there. Hidden away our water uh, purification system back in here. We'll head back upstairs. Back across this battle arena. For anybody that works here also uses this area back here we've got a little pedway that goes across to this other building over here kind of a defensive structure as well this is the rare entrance here to the uh to the combat resort comes through here we've got some more beds here actually we have some bunk beds here on the left hand side um look all right i guess this is the rear entrance. This is the rear entrance. This is mostly used for your services. The supply lines that would bring supplies to the um, to the combat resort, provisioners and what have you. Down on this floor, we've got a bit of a chem den down here. You can come down here, get your jet, get your psycho, get your day tripper, whatever you need, whatever you need. Got a place here to hang out on the couch when you get too fucked up. Back here, got our drug signs. Everybody knows, especially coming into the back gate. We won't have this at the front, just at the back. Kind of keep it hidden. Not that nobody here in the Commonwealth does chems. Close up our back gate. Just take a look from the outside here. We've got, of course, our Minuteman flags because uh, this is a Minuteman uh, settlement. We'll look around. Not much back here, really, at all. Just kind of an entrance right on the main road, though, for provisioners. <coughs> So I'm going to come in here, another weird old friggin' hooded settler. I don't know why I did that. They're weird. Move down here. We've kind of got some provisioner, uh, you know, caravan uh, resting places. We've got some sleeping bags and what have you back here. We've got a provisioner here. Just hanging out. The Brahmin having a bite to eat. Got a couple of cook stations. One there, one here. And we'll move forward here. We've got a we've got some Raider power armor here that I've kind of made just into a statue. It's got no fusion core in it. Nobody can take it. It's just sitting there. Move forward here. This is beautiful. I love the central gardens. I really like it. <laughs> just something else to do with your uh, with your gardens. 
beast battle. So we've got bear versus lizard and bug versus crab. We'll head up in here and see what this is all about up in here. We've got our quitting time siren again. Come in here, we've got some stands. Then we'll look down here into our battle, our battleground, I guess, or our combat arena. And we've got cages here. There's nothing in them right now because I find I just get attacked way too much when I have stuff here and I'm not hanging out in this uh, settlement very often. Like I said, I will do another video where we have, uh, we'll have a combat here in this little arena. We'll head downstairs and take a look at what's going on right below us. And what that is, is a souvenir shop. Of course, you've come this far. You want to bring something home with you. You've watched a battle. You've seen a beast die. Here's the head of the beast that you saw die. Or one that you didn't see die and you just like the look of it. Myself, mm, most of them are pretty fucking hideous. Got this Myler King head over here. Actually looks pretty cool. Brahmin, I don't know who would have Brahmin and head in their house, but hey, to each his own, I guess. Back out into the central area, a little view of the garden from this end. Got the little diner here that we've turned into the uh, police station. We'll head on in there. Got a computer, some desks. Machine gun turret. Got a light turret in here facing outwards. Didn't really do much with this area in here. Didn't really have to. Not that there's much space to do anything. Top of the stairs here. Pretty good view. Look around at the, uh, the, the area. I guess for the police, they could take a look around and see what's going on. I don't know. Kind of cool. Across the roof of the diner here, we've got some more uh, turrets, machine gun turrets, and we've got our resident police officer, of course only one. And she looks down over our main entrance. That's pretty much everything here, but we'll just go up and we'll take a look around from a high spot. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll go up on top of the video screen. That's probably the best place to take a little, little view around so you can see the vastness, the space, and how much there really is here. This really is a great building spot. It's pretty level and quite a bit of building space here for this one. I think once I get to the top of the turret, I'll actually switch to daytime, or top of the turret, sorry, to the top of the uh, video screen, and we'll switch to daytime so we can have a better view, kind of around of everything. And it's daytime. So we'll take a look around. We've got this rear defensive uh, tower here protecting the back entrance. Got our gym down there, our pizza shop, and then the Starlight Hotel. Got our man versus man battle uh, arena. I like those buses. You can put those anywhere. They look pretty good up there. Just adds a bit of girth to the building, I guess. A little bit of height. We got our rear entrance here, a provisioner, uh, you know. It comes through this back entrance and our defensive turret. Now I think I'll jump over to the top of the actual camera tower. Kind of get a good view from there as well. Now we're over here. You can see our front entrance is right here. We'll take a look around. A lot of space in this front. A lot of space. A lot of flat space, which is really good. Really good building place. At our central park. Looking around. Got our hotel. Well, that pretty much sums up what we've got here for the uh, Commonwealth Combat Resort. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and uh, give us a like and a subscription. Leave a comment if you'd like. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.